First and foremost, I just want to start off by saying we are all different. Different body types, different body problems, different body needs, and just because this is my experience with this chair does not mean you're going to have the same experience. I start off by saying this because of the overwhelmingly positive reviews out there. I'm not saying it's a bad chair, it just didn't work out for me. Uh, this disclaimer is necessary because I put out a negative review of the 2020 Secret Lab Titan years ago and it received a ton of heat in the comments. I have no doubt many will come to defend the M body. Another quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by anybody. No competing chair brand is paying me to put out a bad review on Herman Miller. In fact, I plan to buy another Herman Miller chair as a replacement. I'm merely sharing my personal experience. That said, if you find this video helpful and want to help support my channel, you can do so by using the links in the description below. I literally have links to everything you see in my setup. It really does make a difference. So let's talk about why I bought this chair in the first place. I've been using a Secret Lab Titan Evo, which is a vastly improved version over the 2020 model I gave a bad review on for about the last two years or so. The chair has been fine for the most part, but there are times when my glutes and low back begin to feel sore, think sciatic region, and I'm forced to take small breaks from it. It comes and goes, so I deal with it because, for the most part, I've gotten used to it. Where my problem began is, over the last year, I begin to get into a workout routine, and about three months in, I start to experience low back pain and sometimes low back spasms. This has happened twice now where I've started, and once I start to increase the weight I lift, the pains begin, forcing me to stop. Uh, this time around, I am going to slowly introduce each specific workout to try to pinpoint the problem, but last time it took me three months for the pains to go away so I can start up again. This time, I'm about a month or so out and feel like I'm ready to get back into it. So, while normally dealing with the occasional soreness that comes from the Titan is something I can deal with, having these low back pains makes it much more unbearable. Oh, it's for that reason I began to search for a comfortable, supportive office chair, and after many, many reviews, many videos, and articles, everybody points to the Embody as being their top chair, or among the top, so I said screw it and spent the money while they were having a 25% off sale. Well, here we are after about a week of using it and it's becoming clear this is not the chair for me. I'm not going to go into detail talking about the build and specs and all of that. There's already a million videos out there, but I just want to point out the specific reasons why I'm sending it back and what I plan to replace it with. Now let's start off with minor gripes that aren't really that big a deal, but might be worth mentioning to someone considering this chair. Now one is the way the chair moves from left to right. It's almost as if something is loose where the chair meets the piston. Now, maybe it's supposed to be like this and it's not that big of a deal. I'm just wondering if others do this or if I happen to get one with the defect as this is not something I typically experience amongst all the chairs I've reviewed. Another is the armrest limitations, which can only be raised and tilt inward. Now, I knew this coming in, but now that I have it in my setup, I find myself wishing it raised just a little bit higher or had 4D capabilities so I could adjust it even further. But for the price tag, 4D would have been nice. But the main reason it's going back is because one, while the posture fit spinal support system, which consists of all these individual parts and pressure points that are supposed to support your spine are comfortable across the majority of my back, these two specific points right here, which push directly into my low back, create this hard spot right in this indention, which the longer I sit in it, the more I feel it slowly digging into my low back. The rest of the backrest feels great, but it's like I can feel the hard plastic nodules digging their way in. The second reason it's going back is because the seat is kind of a double-edged sword. I can have it retracted in, which makes the seat feel more comfortable and supportive, but then puts a little pressure under my thighs and leaves my legs hanging a bit too much. Or I can extend the seat to its outermost position, which feels great on my legs, but then seems to pull some of that cushion under my seat forward, which leads to my butt filling those plastic nodules under the seat poking through. Now, I'm not sure if that's what's actually happening. I'm just saying that's what it feels like. After about an hour, I seem to develop some tailbone discomfort, even though my tailbone is not directly on anything hard, at least that I can tell. I've browsed online and people seem to suggest that these problems must be caused by user error, slouching in the seat or sitting incorrectly, and I can confirm that's not the case. Once again, I'm not bashing Herman Miller. In fact, the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in years ago at an old job was a Herman Miller sale, which is exactly what I'm going to replace this chair with. I just had to buy into the hype and try it out at least once. It didn't work out for me. That doesn't mean it's not going to work out for you. I'm 43 years old and my body's not what it used to be. 
I'll more than likely do a follow-up video on my experience with the sail chair, especially because nobody ever mentions it in their top tier chair list, which I find a bit odd. It's been about six years now since I've sat in one, so maybe my memory is being deceptively selective. To conclude this video, I am still going to keep my Secret Lab Titan Evo because of all the gaming chairs I've tested, it still remains at the top of my list, but now the hunt is on for the best office chair, at least for me, that'll support my body when it turns old and frail. Now I'm sure I'll get a ton of comments on this video, but let me know what you think of the M-Body and if you've had a similar experience, I'd love to know why it did or did not work out for you. For the record, Herman Miller's support has been great and is fully refunding the purchase price. Just make sure you hold on to the box to avoid a restocking fee in case it doesn't work out for you. If you found this video helpful, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell, and why not even giving this video a thumbs up. I don't forget to use my links in the description below, but that's going to wrap things up for today. So until next time, thank you for watching, stay tuned, and have a great rest of your day.